sure thing. When you get a chance, send someone down the track back to that farmhouse. Okay. Why? That poor woman's husband needs Baron. Of course. And is it safe down there? Oh, just send someone sensible. Understood. Boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. I fell, but when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> <A party. laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop <laughs> it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Colm O'Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now, you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score of their planet. There's quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Colm O'Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. gentlemen this is it are we goddamn ready 
Ready, Ready Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. There they are. Uh, that's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You two, get up there and keep us covered. <laughs> sure thing. Good. Come on, let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Come on. Watch out, this bit's steep. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. Stay low. Come on, follow me. Get in cover, Arthur. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. 
just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. We have to move on this right now. What the hell are you doing? Ah! Damn it! All right, boys. Kill these sons of bitches. Kill every last one of these bastards. Okay, let's wait for Javier and Lenny. They're coming down with the horses. Keep an eye out for any more of the bastards. Nice of you two to join us. Is everyone all right? 
I think so. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Hey, this looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. It smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground.
with me. Please don't. I'm no use to you, really. Look at the floor for a minute. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Mr. P -p please Let me go. I'll disappear. I'll go to Mexico. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. Have a heart, mister! Just let me go, please. I've only been running with them a couple of months. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. Shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. Found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are going to find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. 
You see me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. All right, we're moving out. Follow me. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the Odrisco, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer that run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride! Get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. 
There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Hold. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Whoa! Sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here. Now stop yelling! Uh, oh, oh. 
Good shoot, kid. I can see now why the old crystals brought so many boys up here for this. Parker, get over here. You two all right? Yes. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little! That's enough! Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dollar money. You two boys will blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now, like the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. We don't want to kill you. My oh We just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Look at this place. It's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> What's your name? You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Getting there. Ah. Ah. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. It's just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. I think I got them. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> ah. <laughs> what did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. OK. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Okay, get on the train, quick, on it. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Said quick.
So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <gasps> Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yep. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. 
I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your truck? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, Working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hold up. So, gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. 
east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. 